Okay then, so what I thought I'd do is a bit of a, um, a quick show and tell in a really simple video where I compare um, how it looks on two different screens from two different people. I'm playing both characters. Uh, you can see here that I am SSVVVV on this one and on this side I'm this character here. So you should be able to see both screens side by side. And what I want to show is how important peaking is in this game if you want to win. And how important it is to uh, to being a master of this game. So what I'm going to do is with my character SSSVVVV I'm going to poke in and out and on both sides of the screen you should see the difference. So I'm going to fire a shot first so we know that if we can match up the two time scales. So I'm going to find the shot. Okay, and then what I'll do is scroll out, really out, scroll out. I should be able to see the player. I will see the difference, how big the difference in the lag is in terms of what happens when I scroll around this corner and see a player and the difference between at which point he sees you. Or in this case, I see me, but you know the same difference. So you see here, peek out, see him, peek out. And this is because we have client side working, which is you don't see the client side. The difference is, you know, we should be able to see, is that the difference between when I appear on, when I see the other player and when it sees me. And that's what you're taking advantage of by peeking in and out like this. By peeking in and out and being on the move all the time, makes it almost impossible to keep up with the client side element of this. So the other things you can do, is you can come to here you go, in, in, double peek in, 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 in. So what you're looking to do is try and gain every advantage you can by taking advantage of the way that the game actually works at a network level. See? In. And the faster you move, the better. The faster you move, the better. So really, you should be able to see that how big a difference peaking makes in this game. Quick peek out. So just to make some evidence here of my actually uh, having done some work to see whether this works or not. We can see inside the video editor that I actually used to produce this video and will produce it at the very end. That there is some differences. So we can move back and forwards using these keys here. You can see here that now I'm moving out on the right hand screen and do coming across, coming across, coming across, coming across, coming across, coming across. And there, probably the one before actually, 
but I suspect the first time we'll be able to shoot someone will be there I'm definitely there so at the bottom right here you can see that it says five one minute 5.866 seconds so what we need to see on this time is how long is it before we actually see my character here appear on the other player screen so we keep moving Should see it in one second here. Just see him there, but you're not going to be able to shoot there. As you can see already on this side, I've got full view of the person. I can be firing away. Remember they started at 5.866 seconds. 5.866 seconds, that's it. There. The first time you're going to be able to shoot someone is there. And that's at 6.233. So we bring that up. I do calculator here. Um, hmm. And we do six point two three three minus five point eight six six equals 0.367 seconds so there's a point nearly 0.4 gap between when I peek out I can start shooting and the opposition player manages to see me on the screen and that's being generous I mean I'd expect it to be there before so I was going to see me yeah, there or there maybe so even a bit longer than that so I'm heading off a you know, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 seconds with of time. So that's one example of that. We can scroll forward to doing it again, and you can see that actually he sees me on the screen, and at this point, I can't see him, and there's no way he can be shooting at me. And actually connect. Now of course there is the element of surprise that he could shoot at me because it's client side again so there is some of smell of that but you, you are if you are moving you are in the position of much greater stability here in terms of the chances of killing someone but three point let me say point three six seven seconds considering a good majority of weapons can easily put someone down in point five or point six seconds you know, without any headshots. That shows you the power of peaking in this game. If you're always on the aggression and always on the move and always peaking, chances are you're always winning.